right, let's do this. Hey guys, it's me, Caitlin, and today I am doing a video that I've wanted to do for a while. So, um, let me just give you a little thing. So for all of you who don't know, I am a teacher's pet. I am the first one to admit it. I love my teachers. I get along with my teachers probably better than I get along with some students. They're very nice people. I genuinely enjoy their, I don't know the word. I actually used to be terrified of my teachers. And I like would be like super shy because I was so scared of them. And this story is why. Oh, also just another little thing. If you don't know this, the two shows that I love are Grey's Anatomy and Criminal Minds. And Criminal Minds may have been involved in this whole story. Yeah, let's just say that this all happened after binge watching probably like 600 episodes of Criminal Minds. This was all a dream, just so you know. Ha, clickbait, got you, got you. So the dream starts out like this. It goes like, there's this really mean old lady and she's really scary and she, she needs Jesus. Jesus, come and see her, get her, Jesus. She's like this mean old lady, she's bitter, she's rude. Horrible human being, and she's a teacher. We're gonna call this teacher Sally. Now Sally, she was, she never was married, she was never, she never got married, she hated her job, she hated children, which, now that I think about it, like, why would you teach if you hate children? I don't know. It was a dream, okay? So we can't judge that Caitlin's dreams are messed up. Well anyway, so the kids that she taught really didn't help the case when they were like, cause they were very obnoxious, rude kids. So instead of giving them like detentions, um, Sally would give them her own form of detention. So like they would have to come in after school in her classroom. But anyway, so then she would like take them to like this weird room where the detention would be held. So in that room, she would keep the kid and then like skinned them alive. What do you mean? And like, I saw all of this in my head. I can't even, okay? Oh, and then after she skinned them alive, she would make them into Cabbage Patch dolls. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Caitlin, you need to go to a mental hospital. And like, anyway, she gets away with it and she does it to all these different kids. And like, at the end of the dream, like, I'm, it skips ahead after she skins like the last kid in her class, which I don't know how she got away with it. But like, I don't know, women power? Feminism? Is this how it works? I don't know. Um, so like, she gets away with it for all these kids because you know what? Women can be serial killers too. Um, anyway, so she gets away with it. She does it to all the kids in her class. At the end of the, the dream, she like gets this like machine gun and shoots all the bloody Cabbage Patch doll made out of her students. And like, somehow I'm there, I'm like watching it or whatever. And she like gets all close and she just goes, you're next. What? 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 Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this story. Um, I know it was a weird one. I did not appreciate that. That was the reason why I was terrified of teachers for a very long time because, yeah, but, so I was scared of teachers for a very long time because, and I didn't like talk to them for a long time because I didn't want to die. And I know that's like weird of my mind to just automatically just assume that my teachers were gonna kill me. But like, if you have a dream like that and it, it felt so real and like, so it messed me up for a while, okay? I didn't like sleep for like, months after it. I didn't watch Criminal Minds for a while either. Like, that's how bad it was. Like, I couldn't watch the show because it screwed me up so badly. Um, but yeah, now I'm really close with a bunch of teachers and they're actually really great people and I haven't been skinned alive and turned into a Cabbage Patch doll, so that's good. Anyway, I love you guys a lot. Um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. But give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on all my social media. And I love you guys a lot and I'll see you next Sunday. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Bye.